Introduction Preservation Techniques Preservation techniques have been used for centuries to extend the shelf life of food and prevent spoilage. In the past, preservation was a necessity due to the lack of refrigeration and modern food storage methods. Today, preservation is still important in many cultures and industries, such as food processing and manufacturing. This section will explore some of the most common preservation techniques used in the food industry. Canning Canning is a preservation technique that involves sealing food in airtight containers, and then heating the containers to kill any bacteria or microorganisms that may cause spoilage. This process also creates a vacuum seal that prevents air and bacteria from entering the container. Canning has been used for over 200 years and is still one of the most popular preservation methods today. Canned foods can last for years if stored in a cool, dry place. Canning involves several steps. First, the food is prepared by washing, cutting, and blanching, if necessary. Next, the food is packed into sterilized jars or cans, along with any desired seasonings or preservatives. The jars or cans are then sealed with lids or caps and placed into a canner or pressure cooker. The canner or pressure cooker is filled with water and heated to a specific temperature and pressure, depending on the type of food being canned. Freezing Freezing is a popular preservation method that has been used for many years in the food industry. It involves lowering the temperature of food to below freezing, typically at minus 18 degrees Celsius, 0 degrees Fahrenheit, which slows down or stops the growth of bacteria and microorganisms. Freezing is a great way to preserve the quality and texture of many foods, such as fruits, vegetables, meat, and fish, for several months. One of the main advantages of freezing is that it can help to retain the nutritional value of foods. This is because the freezing process does not typically involve any chemicals or additives that can alter the composition of the food. Furthermore, the freezing process can help to lock in the natural flavor of the food, which can be lost during other preservation methods. Drying Drying is a technique that has been used for centuries to preserve food. The process involves removing water from the food, which inhibits the growth of bacteria and microorganisms that cause spoilage. Drying can be done naturally, by air drying the food or artificially using a dehydrator. Many fruits, vegetables, and meats can be preserved through drying, and the resulting products can be stored for several months. Drying is one of the oldest methods of food preservation, and it has been used for centuries in various cultures around the world. The basic principle behind drying is to remove moisture from food, which inhibits the growth of microorganisms that can cause spoilage. There are several methods of drying, including sun drying, air drying, and using a dehydrator. Sun drying is one of the oldest and simplest methods of drying. It involves placing the food in direct sunlight and allowing it to dry naturally. Air drying is a method that involves hanging the food in a well-ventilated area until it is completely dry. This method is commonly used to dry herbs, spices, and certain fruits and vegetables. Using a dehydrator is a modern method of drying that involves using a machine to remove moisture from the food. The dehydrator circulates hot air around the food, which dries it quickly and evenly. This method is efficient and can be used to dry a wide range of foods, including fruits, vegetables, meats, and herbs. Salting Salting is another preservation technique that has been used for centuries. This process involves adding salt to food, which dehydrates the cells and prevents the growth of bacteria and microorganisms. Salting is commonly used to preserve meats, such as bacon, ham, and fish, and can also be used to preserve vegetables and fruits. Pickling Pickling is a preservation technique that involves soaking food in a solution of vinegar, salt, and water. The acidic solution inhibits the growth of bacteria and microorganisms, and the resulting product can be stored for several months. Pickling is commonly used for preserving vegetables, such as cucumbers, beets, and peppers. Fermentation Fermentation is a preservation technique that has been used for centuries. This process involves allowing beneficial bacteria to grow in the food, which inhibits the growth of harmful bacteria and microorganisms. Fermentation is commonly used to preserve vegetables, such as cabbage, to make sauerkraut, and cucumbers, to make pickles, and can also be used to make products such as yogurt, kefir, and kombucha. High-pressure processing. High-pressure processing, HPP, 
is a non-thermal preservation technique that uses high levels of hydrostatic pressure to kill bacteria, yeasts, molds, and other microorganisms that cause spoilage in food. The process involves placing food in a sealed container and subjecting it to high pressure, usually between 100 and 600 megapascals, for a short period of time, usually a few minutes. The high pressure disrupts the cellular structure of microorganisms, causing them to die off, while leaving the nutritional and sensory properties of the food intact. This allows manufacturers to produce high-quality, fresh-tasting products with a longer shelf life than traditional preservation methods. HPP is commonly used for juices, meats, and seafood and can help preserve the quality and freshness of these products. Development of Modern Food Science the development of modern food science began in the late 19th century and early 20th century, when scientists began to investigate the chemical and nutritional composition of foods. This marked a shift from the traditional approach to food, which was largely based on trial and error and passed down through generations. One of the most significant discoveries during this time was the identification of essential nutrients, such as vitamins and minerals, and their role in human health. Scientists were able to identify which foods contained these nutrients and how they were absorbed and utilized by the body. This knowledge led to the development of fortified foods and supplements to help people meet their nutritional needs. One of the earliest pioneers of modern food science was Justus von Liebig, a German chemist who is considered the founder of the field. He developed a technique for analyzing the nutritional value of foods and discovered the importance of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats in the human diet. His work laid the foundation for the modern field of nutrition. In the early 20th century, several other scientists made significant contributions to the development of food science. For example, Eli Mechnikoff discovered the role of probiotics in gut health, while Harvey Wiley helped to establish food safety regulations in the United States. Eli Mechnikov was a Russian microbiologist who is best known for his work on the immune system and the role of probiotics in gut health. In the early 20th century, he proposed the idea that the lactic acid bacteria found in fermented dairy products could have health benefits, particularly for the gut. His work paved the way for the development of probiotics, which are now widely used to promote digestive health. Harvey Wiley was an American chemist who is often called the father of the Pure Food and Drugs Act. He was one of the first scientists to study the effects of food additives and preservatives on human health. And he advocated for the regulation of these substances. In 1906, his efforts resulted in the passage of the Pure Food and Drugs Act in the United States, which established federal regulations for food and drug safety. Wiley's work was instrumental in improving the safety and quality of the food supply, and his legacy continues to influence food safety policy to this day. In addition to the study of nutrients, food scientists also began to investigate the physical and chemical properties of food, such as how heat and processing affect the nutritional quality and safety of foods. This led to the development of new technologies and preservation methods, such as canning, freezing, and high-pressure processing, which allowed for greater availability and variety of foods. As food science developed, researchers began to study the different components of food, such as proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, and how they interact with each other during cooking and processing. Microbiology became an important field within food science, as scientists sought to understand the role of bacteria, yeasts, and other microorganisms in food production and preservation. Chemistry also played a crucial role in food science. As scientists studied the chemical reactions that occur during cooking, processing, and storage. Engineering also became an important discipline within food science, as researchers sought to develop new technologies and techniques to improve food production and preservation. For example, food processing equipment such as pasteurizers, homogenizers, and freeze-drying machines was developed to improve the safety and shelf life of foods. The interdisciplinary approach of food science has allowed for a more holistic understanding of food and its role in human health and nutrition. It has also led to the development of new food products and technologies, such as functional foods, nutraceuticals, and genetically modified foods, which have the potential to improve human health and nutrition in new ways. 
Food science remains a critical field in today's world, as it is responsible for ensuring the safety, quality, and sustainability of the global food supply. With the world's population projected to reach over 9 billion by 2050, food science will become increasingly important in addressing issues related to food security and sustainability. One of the main areas of focus in food science today is food safety. Foodborne illnesses are a significant public health concern, and food scientists work to identify and control potential hazards in the food supply, such as pathogens, toxins, and allergens. They also develop and implement methods for testing and monitoring the safety of foods throughout the production and distribution process. In addition to food safety, food scientists also play a critical role in developing new and innovative food products that meet the changing needs and preferences of consumers. This involves understanding consumer trends and preferences, as well as developing and testing new ingredients, processing methods, and packaging solutions. Food science also has an important role to play in promoting sustainability in the food supply. This includes developing and implementing sustainable farming practices, reducing food waste, and developing alternative protein sources to reduce the environmental impact of animal agriculture. If you liked our video, don't forget to say it. Also subscribe and leave a comment. We will answer you.